Hi guys, today I'm going to talk briefly about the book uh, The Hello Effect and uh, uh, eight other business uh, delusions that deceive managers by Phil Rosenzweig. It was first published in 2007 by uh, the Free Press and it has become one of the must-read books for managers today. So what's so special about this book? Okay, this book uh, uh, it was one among, among the first to critique, uh, you know, a number of popular business books, um, including In Search of Excellence, Good to Great, uh, Built to Last, uh, etc. As well as, uh, you know, uh, the bus business journalism, which Phil felt was uh, pseudo-scientific in, uh, you know, in, in their analysis. So, um, he he actually uh, destroyed the myth that you know a company can become successful uh, or can achieve a high performance by following a simple formula you know it just simply doesn't happen so what exactly does uh, uh, the hello effect mean okay so the term was coined by uh, psychologist edward thorndike in 1920 and it refers to the tendency to make uh, specific inferences based on general impressions so for example if a company is performing well uh, so we will have you know uh, you know we will perceive uh, we have you know this will shape the way we perceive things like uh, you know the strategy uh, the leadership qualities and also like uh, you know the the the, the corporate culture etc which may not be correct <clears throat> so you you'll see in history that you know a lot of uh, companies which were uh, supposed to be, you know, the, the, the what do you call the best companies. Um, uh, this included companies like IBM, um, uh, Cisco, uh, ABB, Dell, etc., which were uh, the heroes, soon became villains, you know, when they didn't perform well. But the fact is that, like, for example, Cisco was didn't change anything. They didn't change the way where they were doing business. So, um, uh, what do you call... Um, Suddenly, uh, since they were not performing well, they, you know, these journalists and other academics started critiquing um, the the management style, for example, you know, um, the strategies. Um, but uh, as uh, you know, Phil explained in his book, these are delusions, you know. And uh, just to give you a, uh, you know, without going in depth, just to give you a gist of what he was trying to say, you can never explain performance of companies by just looking at the winning companies you know winning companies in fact you know many winning companies uh, regress over time and uh, uh, he also went on to say you know mentioned that you cannot explain performance by looking at a single factor for example uh, let's say customer focus or good HR uh, also uh, there was things like um, what do you call um, risks that you know which we can't predict things which are both external and internal external things like uh, you know uncertain customer demand unpredictable uh, competitor responses uh, technology which is changing uh, drastically um, you know and at such a fast rate and of course you know acts of God disasters that happen we can't predict those and they can affect a company and nothing to do with strategy or you know <clears throat> Or uh, you know any other factor, right? So this was in brief about the book, the Hello Effect, uh, you know, um, and eight other delusions, uh, or, you know, business delusions that deceive managers. And I strongly recommend uh, all you know business students to read this book. Okay, thank you. Bye.